Hi friends, in this video we are going to see digital signal processing part 2 filtering week 3 quiz solutions. Let's take the quiz. First one, assume x of n is a wide sense stationary random process with uh, power spectral density px of e power j omega. Which of the following properties are true? So the power spectral density of a wide sense stationary random process can be obtained by taking the discrete time Fourier transform of uh, x of n. So the autocorrelation function of x of n is a real value and it is a symmetric. So the discrete time Fourier transform is also the real value and the symmetric. Okay. That should be the positive. Next, uh, consider a white mass process W of n with variance is equal to 4. The process goes through a filter with transfer function h of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus root 3 z inverse. To produce a wide sense stationary process x of n, compute the value of power spectral density of x of n in omega is equal to pi by 2. So here the given the variance is 4 and the system function h of z is uh, uh, what is 1 by 1 minus root 3 z inverse. So the power spectral density of e power j of omega is mod of uh, h of e power j omega transfer function or the frequency response way into power spectral density of uh, input c. So here that in the input is wide mass, its power spectral density is simply the variance. So it is uh, 1 by 1 minus root 3 e power minus j omega whole square into its variance. So the power spectral density at omega is equal to pi by 2 that is p of e power j pi by 2 which is 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus root 3 e power minus j pi by 2 into variance values 4. So that is 4 into mod of 1 by 1 minus root 3 into e power minus j pi by 2 values minus j. So, which is equal to 4 into so mod square mod of 1 by 1 plus root 3 j whole square. So, once you simplify this, your answer is 1. You will get 1. Next, the third one. Consider the stochastic process defined as y of n is equal to x of n plus beta into x of n minus 1 where beta is a real number and x of n is a 0 mean wide sense stationary process with autocorrelation function sigma square into alpha mod k. y of n can also be expressed as the filter version of x of n where the filter's impulse response h of n is ok. So that is the given the y of n the stochastic process is x of n plus uh, beta into x of uh, n minus 1. So that you are going to represent as a filter function. That is, when it is represented as a filter function, response can be obtained by taking the convolution between input and uh, impulse response. So this must be equal to the x of n plus beta into x of n minus 1. You will get the same function when you convolute with it impulse only. So that is del of n, you will get x of n. So for the second term, beta into x of n minus 1, you should be convoluted with beta into del of n minus 1. So by comparing this, your impulse response is del of n plus beta into del of n minus 1. So del of n plus beta into del of n minus 1. Okay. Now, using the same setup as in the previous question, select the correct expression for the power spectral density of so given the impulse response, you know, just now we obtained that is uh, del of n plus beta into del of uh, n minus 1. Apply the discrete time for a transform h of e power j omega is 1 plus beta into e power minus j omega. Okay, then find the mod h of e power j omega square. So it is 1 plus beta into e power minus j omega 
complex number and its complex conjugate. So, e power minus e omega whole conjugate. So, its value is 1 plus beta square plus 2 beta cos omega. Now, the power spectral density of input signal which is I am adding the sigma square into uh, which is nothing but directly the autocorrelation form uh, directly you can write as a Fourier transform of uh, discrete time Fourier transform of autocorrelation function that is Rx of uh, n into e power minus j omega n that is uh, sigma square into summation is alpha power mod n e power minus j omega n. So, after the simplification you will get the sigma square into 1 minus alpha square divided by 1 plus alpha square minus 2 alpha cos omega. Now, you know the power spectral density of input signal and uh, frequency response. Now, the power spectral density of output signal is mod of uh, h of e power j omega whole square into power spectral density of uh, input signal okay which is the power spectral density of input signal is uh, sigma square into 1 minus alpha square divided by 1 plus alpha square minus 2 alpha cos omega into uh, frequency response square is a uh, 1 plus beta square plus 2 beta into cos omega. Now see the option sigma square into 1 minus alpha square into 1 plus beta square plus 2 beta cos omega divided by 1 plus alpha square minus 2 alpha cos omega. Okay. Now the last one using the same setup as in the previous question, assume that the output y of n turns out to be white noise sequence, which of the following statements are necessarily true. So, for the reverse process, the output uh, this y of n should not, uh, it must be the uncorrelated function and that should be the constant and the beta value must be equal to the minus alpha. Okay. Now, see the result. Okay. Thank you.